Let's see how the query language in Altium Designer is organized with an example in a PCB layout. All the language commands can be divided into several groups. First, there are commands that check the object type. These include commands such as isVIA for vias, isPad for contact pads and holes, isTrack for tracks, and isComponent for components, as well as many others. There are also commands that impose conditions on the values of objects' properties. Sets of characteristic properties are shown in the Properties panel. For example, the query width equals 0.17 will find all objects that have width property equal to this value. Another example is net equals gnd, which identifies objects assigned to the gnd net. The next group checks attributes or characteristics inherent to certain objects. For example, in SMT pin identifies surface mount pads. In SMT component identifies components that contain surface mount pads. The isWire command finds all tracks and arcs that are on signal layers. There are also commands that check if an object belongs to a certain set. For example, inNet will find all objects that are assigned to a specific net. The command inNet class does the same, but for nets in a certain net class. The inComponent class command selects components in a certain component class. If you want to find objects associated with a certain footprint, then the has footprint command is used. There is a separate set of commands that will return the layer on which an object is located. For example, on top will find all objects on the top layer of the board, while on mid will find all objects on any of the internal layers. Use on multilayer to find objects on a multilayer board, and so on. Here we've only considered a small part of the query language commands. To find the required command, users can explore the detailed help documentation or open the query helper, which contains queries grouped into the categories presented above, checking for type, checking for property field values, for set membership, for attributes, and for layer location. You can also build more complex queries from several commands, which might involve the application of logical and mathematical operators. We'll look at this more in an upcoming video.